Okay, so I'm starting with um, freshly washed hair. And as you can see, my hair is very matted looking and kinky and coily. I consider myself to have 4C hair. So after I wash it, I'm applying some leave-in conditioner just to every section of my hair. I'm going to separate my hair um, in two sections, basically the top half of my head and the back half of my head, so that I can start blow drying my hair. I'm using the Organic Root Stimulator Heat Protectant, and that is what I'm going to put on my hair to protect it from the um, heat of the blow dryer. And as you can see, this method here I'm trying to use was the method that the um, Glam Twins 334 used in their like hair straightening video, but that didn't really work for me, so instead I use the, um, I think it's called the stretching method, where you just stretch your hair out and then run the heat over it, just because my hair, like, it bounces back too much, so the shrinkage, the amount of shrinkage I get made it hard to use the comb down method when I was straightening my hair. So for the rest of the time, I used the stretching method, and that worked much better for me. And the first time I ran through my hair in this section, I used low heat. Um, after that, because the low heat really didn't get it, my hair as stretched as I wanted it to be. So I used high heat for the rest of the time also. Just because I'm blow drying my hair to eliminate all of the tangles I've been getting and hopefully that will eliminate the breakage I've been getting in my hair and I can grow my hair to waist length which is my goal so I'm just trying again to do like the comb through method with a with that towel brush there and it works but not at first so I'm on the last section of my hair I'm putting some heat protectant in that section and I stopped doing the comb through method because it was just easier for me to like try to finger detangle it first and then blow dry it out and then come through it afterwards while the, when there were no tangles in my hair. My 4C hair gets very very tangled very quickly. I could have just combed it and then a few minutes later it's gonna be tangled again like I will always get get some snags and resistance and I feel like that is what's causing a lot of the breakage I get so I'm hoping that I'm um, keeping my hair in a blow-dried state will help it grow. Um, my hair has been bra strap length for a long time and when I cut it, it gets back to bra strap length and it kind of just stays there. I don't feel as though bra strap length is my terminal length, so I'm going to try a different method now to try to get my hair over that growth hump. And hopefully this works. I only plan to blow dry it um, once every six weeks, just so that there's not heat damage occurring. And this actually took me a really long time to do because I was trying to figure out what method worked best for me. And I know now that the stretching method works best. And then if I want to, I can go back through it with a comb and it'll just run straight through after it's blown out pretty much straight. Just doing a midi length check. And then once I'm done, I'm going to put some more 
coconut oil in my hair. In there, I have the Shea Moisture coconut oil, which it's like $14.99. Um, it's just regular coconut oil, so I wouldn't advise you to get it because you can get regular coconut oil for like $6.99. So I'm just splitting my hair now, and it looks pretty thick, but um, I think once I start getting so much shedding, my hair will be much thicker, which is what I want. And I'm just giving you a quick length check. Um, the back of my hair is bra strap length, and I'm 5'11", so I don't know how many inches my hair is, but it's a pretty good length. The sides of my hair are armpit length and the front of my hair is like mid chest. So thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.